Hello Libra. Welcome to Virgo season. Welcome to September. I have the cards in hand ready to do your intuitive horoscope reading. So Virgo season is affecting a very deep, a very spiritual part of your life. Affecting the 12th house, especially for you Libra risings out there. So what this means is it brings up subjects of, of course, your spirituality. What do you believe in? How your spirituality is feeding you in your life. How it inspires you right now. If it's not inspiring you right now, making adjustments. even seeking spiritual guidance from a spiritual counselor of sorts. This area has to do with secret and open enemies as well. <laughs> so any enemies, people who wish you ill. Um... It has to do with karmatic debts as well, Libra. Your personal karma from this life and past lives, if you believe in that. It has to do with some of your own self undoing, you know, how you get in your own way, how you prevent yourself from succeeding. So, you know, as you see, it's, it can be very deep, very tender. You know, it's a sensitive, sensitive subject, Libra. But this is what Virgo season whoo, wants to bring up with you. First card that popped out here so far, Two of Pentacles. So, the duality of your nature, the duality of things is popping up here for you. So let's get into some of the other major aspects going on this month. On the 14th, we'll have the full moon in Pisces. So collectively, what this is really doing for all of the zodiacs, Libra, is enhancing your imagination being in Virgo season, it brings more reality to your imaginative ideas. Ah! Okay, hang on one second, I created a mess. Okay, that was just me being clumsy, so we're not gonna, mm -mm. did I drop any more? Okay, all right. I got myself together now, Libra, so. <laughs> Making, uh, you know, those ideas, imaginative possibilities, more of a reality. Also with the Pisces full moon, it brings up spirituality. So it's, it's definitely a very sensitive feeling moon. You might notice yourself and others feeling being more empathetic more with this moon. It's a very dreamy kind of moon. Might even specifically encourage you to connect more with your dreams and the symbolism that's showing up in your dreams, Libra. So a little deep there. Um, also, the shadow side really to this Pisces full moon is you might see some liars come out. Liars, manipulators. Also, it has to do with addictions. So Libra, if you or anyone close to you is struggling with any kind of addiction, that can be made 
more well known here and that can come to some sort of um i would say completion so yeah some things to just kind of watch out for with that on the 18th though we have saturn moving direct moon trying saturn on this day as well which gives it more of that positive aspect easy flow easy go so that's awesome so basically libra anywhere in your life where there has been a lack of organization falling short of structure those areas of your life get resolved proceed forward much more easily with much more clarity now also where you feel like there's been constant like repetition um if you've been having to constantly revisit something revisit an old pattern you keep attracting the same thing same person but you don't want to you just feel like you keep going through the same lesson and you're like okay okay i get it now well saturn moving direct here is like okay fine i'll ease up clear the pathway you can go forward now that's kind of the energy with this so it is really exciting and it is really beneficial also more long-term effects can happen can evolve can be carried out now so that's good so then on the 23rd of september guess what libra we move into your season and the fall equinox happens power day and then on the 28th we'll have your new moon so this is great for gosh welcoming in whatever new experience that you want to see in your life or you want to see genuine change a genuine rebirth this is going to be a good time to intentionalize that so happy birthday to all of the september libras out there i'll be excited to see what evolves for you a lot of you know it tends to happen whenever the sun's in your sign and you have your solar return it's a lot of stuff surrounding your identity physical internal appearance how you feel about yourself that kind of stuff comes to the forefront and you usually just get blessed with more luck you know when the sun's in your sign more lucky experiences opportunities come so mm -mm -mm. let me know in the comments below but here we go, we're gonna look at the cards and get a little bit more specific now. Okay. I'm gonna continue shuffling here, but let's talk. Hmm. Some of you, Libra has been juggling your money. I feel like you're having to constantly sacrifice part of your finances something else you can't seem to <laughs> to get both things to achieve both things at the same time you have to pick one or the other yeah that's coming up a little bit Something also showing up here with the two of pentacles and the page of pentacles about <sighs> divvying up your efforts.
also your health. Paying more attention to, whoop, okay, I feel like those ones want to come out. Here we go. Paying, oops, paying attention more to your health. Um, studying up a little bit more. Studying, researching, counseling a bit more on a health issue or something that relates to your finances and business pursuits. Yeah. Those are some big focuses here. Challenge is going to be maybe creating time to learn more, time to read more, time in your schedule to go to counseling and stuff like that. Or go to school if some of you are thinking about adding more onto your school schedule or adding on a new class. It's an opportunity and a calling here for a lot of you Libras to travel, to explore, explore your ambitions, explore your own drive and energy now, explore your passions. And that could just be by learning, reading, going through your own mind, but also this is definitely reflecting some journeys, some trip, some studying abroad in another country for some of you. It looks really positive. It looks really expansive for you. You're being guided and encouraged to really look at other cultures, other topics that you're unfamiliar with from, you know, all around the world. Doing that is going to give you some inspiration. It's going to move you in a special way, Libra. Oop, I feel like that one wanted to come out. Ooh, the fool. Yes, okay. Page of Wands, the recent past here. Recent new adventure, prospect, new opportunities, something inviting you to put your energy and efforts into. There's like a hesitation to take what is been offered to you, to take this new adventure, to go abroad, to go on that trip, to go out and seek adventure and inspiration in that way. Hmm. Juggling, you know, between duties, responsibilities, and pleasure. Now the Six of Swords showing up here is saying, yes, follow 
that first gut instinct Libra where spirit seems to be leading you. Yes, you can trust that. You can trust that gut instinct. And again, you know, it's, an, it's another, we have a sign of travel here, rowing in a boat. We have the ships in the background and the two of pentacles. The world showing up here in the two of wands, overlooking expansive views, page of wands. Something is really pushing you to move. Some of you might actually want to do that. It may not just be a trip, but you're being called to move. But you're wondering. You're going back and forth. You're being indecisive. That's such a Libra thing, but I still love you guys. <laughs> Seven of Swords, proceeding in the near future. It's like, I see a lot of you just walking away from an old life, from a place that you're tired of, from a job that you might be tired of, from a purpose that no longer suits you anymore, Libra walking away from it. And that's, if that's again, what is being constantly being impressed upon your mind and that it's something you're constantly thinking about, Libra, do it. You'll be happy you did. Now, Seven of Wands, yeah, Seven of Wands showing up down here. Okay, so there's, it's, to me, this is showing and ringing as inner conflict. This is in the position of your personal willpower. Okay, you're, you're fighting yourself, Libra. Why are you fighting yourself? Because it's safe? Because it's secure where you are? where you are in your job, where you are home-wise, where you are in your relationship, because it's because it's safe? You feel like it's safe? There's still an internal struggle. Some action needs to happen in order to make yourself feel better about the situation about what's weighing so heavy on your mind. Ace of Cups, other people around you. Seeing this as new friendships, new relationships, wanting to just flow in. Also is this feeling of a lot of emotional support. A lot of confirmation coming from spirit. You know, I almost see the Ace of Cups here is like you driving down the road and say, say you've been thinking and dreaming of moving to Colorado and the mountains, okay? And you keep seeing signs confirming that that's where you need to be. Like you're driving, you see a billboard of Colorado in a mountain town or something. You go out, you're hanging out with friends. Your friends are like, I'll support you no matter what. And someone brings up the subject, like a complete stranger brings up the subject of Colorado. So it's like, you're getting a lot of signals and nudges from spirit about this here in Virgo season. You have to really connect to your intuition this month to those gut feelings but your friends you know listen to your friends listen to 
the people around you and especially any sort of new conversation with a new person or a new friend who pops up. I'm getting here strongly that you should really pay attention to what they have to offer, what they have to say, how they confirm your feelings on this because that's it's going to be really key and really moving for you and it's funny i say that moving we have the fool sitting right above again this is another strong strong side be sign being a uh, major arcana of going on the journey moving or going on that trip becoming that student abroad There's a sense of freedom that comes with this. This is in this area of your hopes and your fears. Okay, so this, the hope that making this change or making this move for you is going to, you know, it's, it, it's gonna make you feel so free, liberated, excited about life again, invigorated, feeling that beautiful sense of vitality. But then on the other hand, we have this fear of, well, I might fail. I might fall. You know, what if the journey ends with me falling? <laughs> you know, so I can understand you having that fear, Libra, totally. But it's okay. I think there's way more confirmation here saying you are gonna be fine and you will feel free, liberated, excited. So I'm getting you an oracle card from the Sacred Traveler deck here to wrap up the reading. I might I might get you two. <laughs> we'll see. I feel like it's the second one here. All right, we have surrendering to the journey. <laughs> Again, that word journey, oh my gosh. Release control, yeah, look, and this person's on a boat. Interesting. This combination here, you know, on a boat, on a boat, on a boat, rowing, going. <laughs> Libra, many of you are being called. This release control is about releasing that fear of falling. Releasing that fear that you will lose your sense of security. There's a journey happening for a lot of you in September. Accept it. When you try to fight it, that's where, that's where the issues, that's where more problems might arise. Go ahead and get one more for you, Libra. Hmm. You might get some help from someone or from multiple people to help you make this journey, this change a reality. And it could be from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So interesting. Also, Aquarian energy is ringing really strong here. 
So pay attention to any Aquarius popping up as well. Okay, so we have fogged in. Go slow, take time. Oh my gosh, look, it's another boat. Yes, maybe go slow, take your time. You can't see the end result. That's why you're fogged in here, Libra, but they're still rowing, you're still rowing, you're still moving, but you're still being guided to journey. Wow. So yeah, something is being moved for a lot of you this month. That is definitely coming across strong. So totally, Libra, let me know in the comments below how this is showing up in your life and how this is speaking to you, whether it's a job, an actual physical move or what. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, it's pretty cut and dry. So Libra, if you do wanna do a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me to delve deeper for yourself, get in contact with me on my Etsy shop. Link is below in the descriptions, as well as my social media links. Like totally follow me for more tips and fun updates on my Facebook and all that jazz. I just actually came back from an animal, exotic animal sanctuary and I got to hold some baby ligers and tigers. Amazing experience. You can check out those photos on my social media. And check out the meditations that I'm doing. That might help you in making a decision this month. So, by all means, by all means, take the leap, Libra. So I'll talk to you soon. You take care for now.